now available. I would say, I always say now available on DVD. This actually has been available for a long time, but I guess that doesn't discount the fact that in reality, time-wise, it is now available. From MVD is what she said, The Art of Pauline Kael. This is a documentary about the noted film critic Pauline Kael who, who wove her, her magic throughout the 60s, well into the 80s and beyond, maybe into the 90s or 2000s, and uh, is a name I'd always heard of, but I'd never, I mean, I'd seen her books on the shelves because she, she wrote various columns for various magazines and newspapers and appeared on TV and then occasionally would write books, which I never realized until I watched this documentary. All of them have titles that, like, I lost it at the movies, I believe it's what it was called. Uh, a lot of titles could be construed as, as vaguely inappropriate, which I have a grand respect for. So why am I talking about this film now? Well, number one, I just saw it. And number two, uh, it has a, a little bit of heat on it now because Quentin Tarantino has announced that his final film, he always said this thing where he would only make 10 or something like that. We'll see if that comes to pass. But he's announced that his final film is going to be entitled The Critic. And a lot of people are thinking it's going to be about Pauline Kael because a little tidbit of Pauline Kael's story, which is covered in this documentary, what she said, The Art of Pauline Kael, is that at some point she went off to Hollywood and got hired by Warren Beatty or Paramount and worked with Warren Beatty on developing films. So this is this rare occasion where, like I mean, the same thing is sort of true of Roger Ebert. He was a noted film critic or a film critic of some repute when he hooked up with Russ Meyer and started writing Russ Meyer movies, which a lot of people still don't quite know that and they don't quite, they don't quite, it's hard to come to terms with that fact. So uh, Pauline Kael went out to Hollywood at one point to work with Warren Beatty and, you know, in going from criticizing the system to being a part of it. And the thought is that the new Tarantino film may well be about a semi, like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, maybe a semi-fictionalized account of how that all went down, which sounds interesting. But we're not talking about that movie that doesn't exist. We're talking about this one that does. What She Said, The Art of Pauline Kael. I'm going to keep saying it. What She Said, The Art of Pauline Kael. See, I did it again. Is a really good documentary. Now, uh, a lot of people these days probably don't know who she is. If you're just a normal person, you probably don't pay much attention to that sort of thing anyway. But uh, it's really fascinating. It was fascinating to me. So we have Pauline Kael in her own words, as read by Sarah Jessica Parker. We have Pauline Kael's daughter. We have friends and associates and contemporaries, fellow critics, fellow film industry people, fellow, uh, well, fellow, but filmmakers who were... Uh, influenced by her or appreciated her or felt her 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 sting felt the sting of her her textual barbs and like you've got Tarantino in there talking about Pauline Kael you've got Paul Schrader talking about Pauline Kael and uh, fellow critics and contemporary critics and a lot of clips a lot of old like home movies and film clips a lot of uh, TV interviews and just copiously illustrated with uh, vintage film clips from uh, Hollywood's past this is really good this is, it's not terribly long. If I, if I look at my sheet here, my cheat sheet, it is uh, not very long, doesn't say. I think it's about 98 minutes, 98 minutes or less. And I was just riveted through the whole thing. And Pauline Kael was very funny. She was very biting. I can't say that I agreed with everything I heard her say in this film about various films, but it makes me miss a day when the film critic was more of a force in our culture. Not that, I mean, any film critic, it's their opinion. And the thing about a film critic, about a good film critic, is that they've seen a lot and they know a lot, and with their opinion comes a lot of knowledge and a lot of intellect. And any idiot now can go online and ramble about movies, and many of us do. But in the old days when you had, and I'm not saying there aren't still critics, there are still a few, but not as many, and it's not like it used to be. You can't turn on the TV and see, uh, Siskel and Ebert or Jeffrey Lyons or Michael Medved or Gene Shalit or whatever talking about new movies. Um, and the way the critic thing always worked was that a lot of people are like, eh, what do they know? Eh, they hate everything. Uh, they only like dumb, you know, pompous stuff. Well, in many cases, that's true. But it was an interesting opinion. You always kind of like find the critic, you a reviewer who your opinion seemed to sync with the most and be curious in what they had to say. I, I don't think I ever heard a critic say anything that made me not want to see a movie. But uh, in the, the days of Pauline Kael, she could like make or break a film and people would get, and you see in clips in this, people get really angry if she would criticize their film that they would feel unjustly. And uh, it's interesting to see that world again, which was not that long ago. 
and it makes me miss those days where you had really intelligent writers who were given, and there still are, but who were given really big platforms to to share their thoughts on things, and and, and that that was just an interesting, dare I say, a bit more intellectual time than we live in now, uh, and 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 now you get stuff like this. Uh, but anyway, this is a this is really good, and this is an, a good primer. Is it primer or primer? I always say primer. One of those words I've read and said in my head more than I've ever heard anybody say out loud. It's a good preparation for the new Tarantino film. This is going to be, I think this is going to be a title that gets a lot more heat on it the closer we get to that film being released. Congratulations, MVD. Uh, because if anybody is like, who is Pauline Kael? People will just go, it's a 90 minute documentary. It's great. Find all about it. Find out all about her. Uh, so the disc has extras. It's got a bunch of deleted scenes, which are relatively short, little excerpts of things that just got taken out of the film for time. And you get more with Tarantino, more of his interview. You get more with Paul Schrader. And you get a really, really fascinating. I, I would love to hear this whole thing. It, hopefully, it's out there somewhere. It's a never before released, never broadcast interview that Pauline Kael did with Alfred Hitchcock, where she's like, she's like feisty with him, which I don't know how many people, I never heard a lot of interviews with Hitchcock, but I always feel like he's one of those filmmakers that they probably were very reverential, deferential, they revered him. And uh, people dare not criticize the master of suspense. And she was getting a little feisty. And it's interesting to hear Hitchcock like going toe to toe with her and having to defend himself in not even necessarily being attacked, but it was just like, it was an interesting, you know, on the same level discussion of his films and what he might do in the future and what, he, what he'd done in the past. So uh, this is a really good documentary. It's a really good release from MVD. So available now, and it's, it's also available on streaming. I know that. It's available streaming and on DVD. DVD has the extra streaming, doesn't, uh, is what she said, The Art of Pauline Kael. <laughs> 